Grant Sabatye, Financial Freedom, A Proven Path to All the Money You Will Ever Need. Are you tired of the rat race and yearning for financial freedom? In Financial Freedom, A Proven Path to All the Money You Will Ever Need, Grant Sabatier shares his remarkable journey from unemployment and a bank balance of just $2.26 to becoming a millionaire within five years. This book summary will unveil the strategies he employed, defying societal norms and conventional wisdom to achieve his goals. By exploring topics such as calculating annual expenses, understanding your net worth, re-evaluating purchasing habits, and setting up side businesses, you will discover the steps to follow on the path to financial independence. Defying Norms for Financial Freedom In 2010, 24-year-old Grant Sabatier found himself at rock bottom, unemployed, living with his parents, and with only $2.26 in his bank account. He calculated the challenges that millennials face, including lower average income and student loan debts. Recognizing that the traditional 40-year career path couldn't guarantee financial stability, Grant realized he needed to break free from societal norms to achieve financial freedom. He immersed himself in learning about finance and reshaped his perception of money as a tool for generating wealth. Grant developed a strategic plan involving a full-time job, two side businesses, and stock market investments. Despite the demanding lifestyle and sacrifices, in just five years, he saved enough money to live off the interest, granting him financial freedom. By adopting Grant's strategy, you too can work towards achieving financial independence and future stability. Harnessing the Power of Compounding Embrace the eighth wonder of the world, compounding by calculating your annual expenses and savings target. Determine the amount of money necessary to live comfortably and invest it in an account that generates interest. By following this strategy and living off just 4% of your investment, you'll continue to grow your wealth and achieve financial freedom. Einstein famously referred to compounding as the eighth wonder of the world. Compounding has an incredible ability to increase the value of your money over time, all without adding a single cent to your investment account. How? The interest generated on your account's balance continually accrues, essentially earning you free money. When Grant, the author, set out to save $1,250,000, his primary goal was to attain financial freedom by living comfortably off the compound interest generated. He determined the minimum amount needed to invest to yield a sufficient yearly income. Like Grant, the first key step toward financial freedom is to estimate your annual expenses. Everyone has a unique vision for their life, meaning there's no one-size-fits-all solution for calculating your savings target. For Grant, $50,000 a year allowed him to live comfortably in Chicago. Your target may differ based on your personal goals and lifestyle choices. Begin by examining your ongoing expenses such as rent, mortgage, taxes, utilities, insurance, travel, education, food, and entertainment. Calculate the total cost of your annual expenses and incorporate any future expenses tied to major life events or aspirations. Finally, divide your total annual expenses by 4% to ascertain your principal, the amount needed to invest in a compounding account, providing a comfortable yearly income. Living off just 4% of your compounded interest is ideal, as most interest rates hover around 7%. This approach not only allows for continuous growth and inflation coverage but also ensures the preservation of your principal investment. Remember not to feel overwhelmed by a seemingly insurmountable savings target. Breaking the gold down into manageable portions and utilizing the power of compounding will steadily pave the way toward financial freedom. Assessing Your Financial Launchpad Before embarking on the journey to financial freedom, it's vital to determine your net worth, which serves as a foundation for future financial decisions. Calculating your net worth involves tallying up your assets, assessing your liabilities, and subtracting the latter from the former. This starting point helps you strategize and provides motivation for consistently tracking your financial progress. Every great adventure begins with a starting point, and the path to financial freedom starts with understanding your net worth, your overall financial value. 
Recognizing your net worth is crucial to maintaining financial independence, as it shapes your financial strategy and helps you gauge how far you need to go to reach your savings goals. To find your net worth, start by examining your assets, anything you own with monetary value. Make a comprehensive list of all your valuable possessions worth over $100 and estimate how much you'd earn if you sold them. Include everything from bank account balances and pension funds to cars, real estate, art, and jewelry. Add up the numbers to determine your total assets value. Next, assess your liabilities, the amounts of money you owe, such as credit card balances, mortgages, and student loans. Compile a list of all your debts and sum them up to define your liabilities. Once you've calculated both your assets and liabilities, subtract your liabilities from your assets to find your net worth. Don't worry if your net worth is negative. You can still factor in your debt by adding it to your savings target, that's how Grant began his journey to financial freedom. Conversely, if your net worth is positive, Subtract the income generated by your assets from your savings target and start investing this amount right away, moving closer to your financial goals. Finally, spend 5 minutes each day keeping track of your net worth. Although it may seem like a chore initially, as your wealth grows, this daily habit will boost your motivation to save and work towards financial freedom. True Cost of Your Purchases Daily comfort purchases seem harmless, but when aiming for financial freedom, you must evaluate them differently. Understand that the true cost of an item isn't its price tag, but the number of hours you invest working to afford it. To make informed decisions, calculate your actual hourly income rate by factoring in unpaid work-related activities. With this knowledge, you can better judge whether a purchase is worth it and curb impulse buying, allowing you to save and invest toward a financially secure future. Small things like a cup of coffee in the morning seem innocent enough on their own and can bring some happiness to your day. But when you're chasing financial freedom, it's essential to shift your perspective on what you buy. The real cost of any item doesn't lie in its monetary price, but rather in the hours of your life you have to work to afford it. With this in mind, every purchase decision becomes more significant. It may not feel like a big deal to spend $15 a week on coffee, but what about larger expenses, such as new clothes, vacations, or a car? How many work hours will it take to pay for those? And, are you sacrificing potential compound interest by spending instead of investing? By viewing items in terms of your life's hours, their actual cost becomes clearer. To make smart decisions about your purchases, you need to know your genuine hourly income rate. This entails calculating your weekly income and the hours you work. However, it's crucial not to sell yourself short. Take into account the unpaid hours spent on work-related tasks, including commuting, ironing, attending events, or de-stressing. Considering these factors, your hourly rate might be lower than you initially thought. With the knowledge of your true hourly income, you can ascertain the real cost of each item, which can help curb impulse and emotional buying. Instead, focus on the compound interest that money could generate if invested, bringing you closer to financial freedom and early retirement. Ultimately, being aware of the true cost of your purchases can reshape your spending habits and propel you towards a more secure financial future. Master the Big Three Expenses It's no secret that saving money is challenging, but the key to increasing your savings lies in managing the largest costs, housing, transport, and food. Trimming your expenses in these three areas allows you to set aside nearly 25% of your income, accelerating the journey to reach your financial goals. Budgeting can be frustrating, as many feel guilty when they fail and often give up altogether. Instead of focusing on every minor detail, it is more efficient to target the larger, ongoing expenses. By tackling the big three, housing, transport, and food, you can significantly optimize your savings and control spending. Approximately 60% of an average American household's income is allocated to these areas. Imagine if you could decrease this portion to just 30%. Doing so would free up an additional $17,500 per year to invest, which, over 20 years, would accumulate to a remarkable $835,000. Curious about how to achieve this? 
Let's dive in. First, housing expenses can consume about a third of your income. Aim to downsize or relocate to a more budget-friendly neighborhood, even if only temporarily. Reducing your housing costs for a few years provides a substantial boost to your savings. Next up, transport expenses entail not just the price tag of a vehicle or loan payments, but also fuel, maintenance, and insurance costs. Exploring alternatives like public transportation or car sharing services can help you avoid these excess expenses. If those options don't suit you, consider buying a scooter or moped, which is not only cheaper but also cooler and more enjoyable. Lastly, food costs can be trimmed through a combination of smart online shopping and dining habits. Online retailers often offer discounts for recurring orders, so identify the products you regularly consume and commit to scheduled purchases with these discount programs. When dining out, seek promotional offers and avoid pricey beverages by sticking to tap water. By earnestly addressing these three major expenditures, you can save at least 25% of your income and drastically expedite the time it takes to achieve your financial goals. Implementing these strategies may seem daunting at first, but remember, mastering the big three is a smart, practical approach to financial success. Boost your wealth through work. Instead of seeing your job merely as a means to pay bills, leverage it as a tool for wealth building. Start by maximizing your pension fund contributions to benefit from employer matching and reduced taxable income. Next on your agenda should be negotiating a raise by researching industry standards and assessing your value to the company. Finally, explore the possibility of remote work, as it can offer cost savings, increased flexibility, and enhance overall job engagement. Rather than viewing your job as simply a day-to-day -day grind, take advantage of the opportunities it presents for growing your wealth. By adopting a proactive approach to managing your finances, you can greatly enhance your path to financial independence. Begin with your pension fund. Many employers are willing to match additional contributions up to a certain limit, giving you access to free money. Furthermore, contributing to your pension results in a lower taxable income, as the amount you allocate is deducted before taxes. Your pension fund's growth will also contribute to attaining your savings goals. Next, gear up for negotiating a well-earned raise. While the prospect may seem daunting, thorough research and preparation will make it more manageable. Investigate salaries for similar roles in other companies and assess your contributions and impact within your workplace. When the time is right, such as during a performance review or at the start of a new fiscal year, present your request as a percentage increase, making it appear more reasonable to your supervisor. Lastly, consider the advantages of remote work. Remote jobs can not only save you time and money on commuting but also provide you with increased flexibility. According to a 2016 Gallup report, employees who work remotely for three to four days a week exhibit the highest engagement levels. This suggests that remote work can be beneficial to both you and your company. By implementing these strategies, you can transform your job from a mere paycheck provider to a stepping stone on the road to greater financial freedom. Harnessing Side Businesses Discover how establishing a side business can lead you to financial freedom, just like Matt, who turned a dog-walking gig into a million-dollar opportunity. To succeed, Find a venture that aligns with your interests and skills, research competition, and leverage your income on investments. Matt, a 25-year-old graphic designer in Chicago, is on track to have $1.5 million saved by the time he turns 30. His full-time job brings in a respectable $55,000 a year, but the real magic comes from his booming dog-walking business, established three years ago. Initially, he charged dog owners $5 per walk and started with about 10 walks per week. As the demand grew, Matt expanded by hiring assistants and now earns an additional $200,000 per year, which he saves in growing wealth. It's time for you to emulate Matt's success by diversifying your income through a side business. Financial freedom is often unreachable with a sole, traditional job, as it limits your potential earnings. Developing a side business grants you access to supplemental and possibly passive income. Choose a side hustle that interests you and leverages your abilities, 
since you'll need to dedicate your leisure time to building it initially. Research competitors and strategize ways to stand out, like Matt's referral strategy offering free walks. Be cautious if there's no existing competition, it could signal a lack of demand or an untapped golden opportunity. Don't hesitate to launch your venture and observe its performance. To minimize risk, keep startup costs low, and remember that it may take several attempts before finding the right fit. Once your side business generates income, invest it into an investment account to maximize compound interest and build your financial freedom. Embrace change, reach financial freedom. Taking the first steps towards financial freedom can be intimidating, as it often involves making substantial lifestyle changes and defying societal norms. However, the key to success is not letting fear or hesitation hold you back, instead, dive in, start learning, and take action. It's essential to commit to the long game of building wealth by sticking to your goals and realizing that sacrifices made today will reap hefty dividends down the road. The path to financial independence often begins with an epiphany, the realization that something in your life must change. For instance, Grant experienced this awakening after losing his job due to the 2010 recession. If you want to achieve financial freedom, you must be willing to make sacrifices and sometimes go against the grain, despite what others may think or say. As you embark upon your journey, remember that implementing a financial strategy is crucial, merely talking about it won't cut it. Delaying action leads to missing out on opportunities for wealth growth, prolonging the time it takes to reach financial independence. The first steps may seem daunting, but diving in is the best course of action, whether it's inquiring about contribution matching schemes at work, opening a compounding investment account, or brainstorming fresh business ideas. Naturally, mistakes will happen along the way, but they're part of the learning process that ultimately leads to success. It's crucial to remain determined and focused on your long-term financial goals. Grant took five years to hit his savings target, and your journey may take more or less time depending on your circumstances. Don't lose sight of the fact that the short-term sacrifices you make, like skipping weekend outings, translate to a future filled with financial freedom and ample leisure time. By maintaining persistence and continually working toward your goal, you'll find that the sacrifices were worth it when you're finally enjoying your financial independence. In conclusion, Financial Freedom offers a comprehensive strategy to break free from the constraints of a 9-to-5 job and achieve ultimate financial security. Sabatye emphasizes the importance of understanding your net worth and calculating your annual expenses to set realistic savings targets. He also provides tips on cutting back on major expenses like housing, transportation, and food, and highlights the significance of diversifying income with side businesses. Defying societal norms and embracing a focused and committed approach will ultimately help you attain the financial freedom you desire. Remember, sacrifices made today will provide greater rewards in the future.